Hey, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to do a full demonstration of all the multitasking features for the iPad Pro, including split screen multitasking. As you know, the iPad Pro has a huge 12.9 inch screen, which makes it ideal for more productive work. So let's dive right in. Now, it is essential to understand that there are three ways to multitask on the iPad Pro, and they're called slide over, split screen multitasking, also known as split view, and picture in picture, also known as PIP. So first and foremost, let's take a look at slide over. So slide over allows you to open a second application by sliding it from the right side into the screen, okay? Now in this case, we have Hulu, but what you can do is you can switch the application that is in the slide over window. What you have to do is you have to drag from top to bottom, and that gives you access to all the other applications that you can actually access using slide over. So let's go to message application, just to do a demonstration. So here's my messages, and what I can do is if I get a text message while I'm browsing the website, I can slide over, and I can simply respond to the text message, and then I can tap over here, and that window disappears, and I can continue working on Safari, browsing the web. So one thing to understand with slide over is if you pull it from the side, this whole window deactivates, and this window becomes active, okay? So I can interact over here, but if I tap over here, the slide over disappears. So this is not true multitasking. This is just a way for you to quickly take care of business and then move on immediately afterwards. So with slide over, you cannot collaborate between the two applications. You can go to any application that is in this window and only supported applications are gonna show up here, okay? So if there's some applications that are not supported, you're never gonna see them over here. You can go to maps if you want, okay? And you can tap over here and that window disappears as normal. And just so you know, the slide over feature can be turned off. So if you go into the settings in your iPad Pro, right over here, you can go to general and you can go to multitasking, which should be right here. And from here, allow multiple apps can be disabled. If slide over is not for you, you can disable it. I like it, so I'm going to keep it open. But that's just an option that you guys do have. Just remember that. So what if you want to do true multitasking? What if you want to actually work on two applications side by side? So that's actually called the split view, which is real split screen multitasking. And to activate multitasking, you have to start off with a slide over. So let's do a slide over. And then from here, if the applications that you're using are compatible with split view, you're going to see a white bar right over here in the middle. That's called the app divider. So let's say I want to work with these applications side by side in real time. All you have to do is grab the app divider and just slide it over like this. And that's going to activate real split screen multitasking. So I can actually browse this and it's not going to deactivate this window. And I can actually browse over here and I can keep looking over here. Now the fine thing is these applications are aware of each other. So let's, uh, let's change something. Let's change the application. You can do the same thing as you did with slide over. Let's go to messages. And over here, we have a link. If I tap the link over here, it's going to start a new tab right over here on Safari, as long as you have Safari running on the other side. So just so you understand, these applications are aware of each other. Alrighty? So let's say I want to get rid of Safari, but I want the message application right over here but I want to pull in the Maps application to work with the Messages application. What I want to do is I can use this bar, I can drag it anywhere, I can drag Safari away, and then I can bring the Maps over right from here. So let's tap on Maps, and then use the App Slider bar, that white bar over here, to bring that into the session. And again, this application is aware of that application. So if I tap this address right over here, it's going to take me right over there on the applications, uh, Maps application. So let me go over here and let me just demonstrate this. Let's zoom out all the way over here and let's tap on this guy. And as you can see, it took me to that location on the actual Maps application. Very intelligent multitasking. And anytime you want to disable one of these apps, you just slide the one that you don't want away. So if I don't want Maps, Maps application, I slide that away and the multitasking is over. Okay, so be very careful with this. This is slide over. This window is inactive. If I tap here, it goes away. But if I tap the 
uh, app divider bar, this white bar over here, it actually activates multitasking. Alrighty, I can slide that away to disable it. So just be very careful here. If I pull this up, there's two ways to activate multitasking. One of them is drag and drop using the white bar. Okay, let's drag that away. One more time, gone. And the other way to uh, activate split view is tap the white bar. And that activates the split view as well. And then you can resize it as you please. And then if I don't want messages, I can get rid of that by sliding that away. Fantastic. Split view can also be turned off in the same location. So if you go to settings and if you go to general and multitasking right over here, if you disable this, it disables slide over and split view at the same time. I recommend that you guys keep this on. And the final multitasking feature I want to talk about is the ability to be able to watch a movie while you're doing something else. Now here's the good news. Normally you would think it's only compatible with the videos application, okay? But it's actually compatible with more than that. I have tried Netflix and Crunchyroll and Hulu and uh, YouTube and they all work with picture in picture. Let me show you what I mean. So let's um, launch Crunchyroll and let's just uh, run, let me just lower the voice real quick. Okay, so let's run one of these episodes right over here. And what I can do here is, you are going to see this icon on the top right over here that shows you that this particular application is in fact compatible with picture-in-picture -picture view. So if I tap this guy, it's going to bring it as a standalone video player right on the screen. The video is going to continue to play. And you can exit from Crunchyroll. You can go to Safari. And that video is going to continue to play on the side at the bottom. Now the things you can do with this guy is you can actually pinch to make it smaller and you can have it in either of the four corners. You cannot have it in the middle. If you put it in the middle, it goes to the closest corner. Okay, so I can have it right over here. I can have it over here. I can pinch and that's the maximum size I can have. And I can move this over here as I'm browsing the web. I can keep watching my shows. Okay, and the other things you can do is if you tap this, it allows you to pause the movie or the cartoon or the anime. Uh, you can actually go back to full screen if you want to, just like that. Tap that button, okay? And then you can go back out and you can actually exit from that application, okay? From that video player. Now it seems to be compatible with Hulu Plus too. So if I go to Hulu Plus and I just run something random over here, here's the icon at the bottom right over here. If I tap it, same thing happens. I can go out, I can move this guy around while I'm browsing in the iPad. I can do anything that I want, okay? I can even do uh, slide over if I wanted to. The other thing I can do is you can take this video, if it's uh, bothering you for a second, you can push it aside just like that and then bring it back into session, okay? So look at that. You can put it right on the corner, bring it back into the session, any side of the screen top, bottom, left, right, okay? So a very nice feature for multitasking. And of course, just so you guys know, this also works with FaceTime. So if I was actually having a conversation with somebody, I can do the picture in picture, the PIP view on any of these guys. Okay, so let's, let's exit this real quick. And that's all the three things I wanna talk about. The slide over feature, the split view, which is true multitasking, and also a picture in picture known as PIP. And just so you know, just like you can turn off slide over and split view, you can also turn off picture in picture. All you have to do is go into the settings, okay, general, multitasking, and cancel, I mean turn off, where it says persistent video overlay, and that's going to turn PIP completely off. Probably want to keep it on. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to Saki Tech for more videos, and follow me on Twitter and Facebook. The links are down below. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, also drop them down below in the comments section. Have a great day.